mechanical systems. I like how a a bolt engages in a thread at a given torque. I like how the stresses of suspension get distributed while you nail a heel and toe downshift in a corner. The feeling of gears engaging and um, of, of a brake system just working really perfectly for what it's supposed to do and, and I like all of those aspects of of a motor vehicle. And I also like fixing those mechanical systems. My problem is, this time, I don't have a mechanical problem. this this is how it's looking right now so I have this is sitting in there fairly nicely not like dead on perfection but honestly dead on perfection is beyond my skill set and on the outside I'm just gonna make a cover plate which is going to replicate this bend over here and then plug weld it through and all will be well with sealer functional and medium good looking.
get really good at metal work is to do it. And because I don't want to do it, and I don't usually have cars that require it, uh, this is really out of my comfort zone. Luckily, because I have heard I have another problem here. Uh, someone has already figured out a solution to that problem. A repair panel. Unfortunately for me, I don't have the proper primer for the front because I don't want to put under seal on that. I just want to paint that, but I can't. So you've seen a couple of different stages of, um, you know, completed metal work. And the, the furthest on completion, essentially done, is the back, where I put a coat of body color on it because I like to do that. A rattle can body color is not that expensive and what it allows you to do is while it's not obviously not a 2k proper gloss finish if you take the bumper off it isn't glaringly obvious that something has been done which is you know the final finish on the underside of the boot floor in part i also painted that but i put under seal on it to um, protect the converted rust and then going to the front, I also put under seal on the inside of the wheel arch where originally, I don't even know what that stuff is, it's just impossible to penetrate. Like there's no chance, like you have to use a knife to even slice it. But the problem is if water gets trapped behind that, there's no chance you can stop the rust. And that's also the reason why the car has rusted in the first place is because water got in there and then just munched away at the problem. And on the outside of that, which is the least completed part of this entire repair, is currently rust conversion primer and some more rust converter for those areas that I could not reach, and then sealant around the, uh, the weld seam. And I have to wait for a different primer so that I can put the body color on because those things, uh, they don't match. And yeah, that, that's basically the process that I went through, is I tried to butt weld this as best as possible. But, mm, you know, in an ideal world, I would have this planished and basically looking factory. But I am neither good enough to even modify a repair panel to be that precise, nor am I anywhere close uh, to being good enough as a welder or as a fabricator and sheet metal worker 
to modify and uh, adjust my settings so that I'm not constantly burning through the thin, the thin metal. Uh, this is a very long-winded way of saying it is done now. We can move on to better things. You know, I think I'm really in the mood for something that I haven't touched. I think engine, maybe gearbox, shift linkage, stuff like that.